<laughs> James, you are speaking rubbish. Everyone, we found a scops owl. Look at this. A beautiful scops owl. I have not seen one live or on safari live yet. This is wonderful. Listen to his call. Everyone listen to this. Now I heard the call from a distance and I told Seb, I said, we can hear the scops owl. Let's see, maybe we're lucky. And we found one. I'm so happy and so excited. Wonderful. <laughs> now this is not an owl we see often. Look how well camouflaged it is. We hear them a lot. Very, very small owl. Um, and it is actually um, the, the size with this and the pearl spotted owl. They are very, very similar. Some books say that the Scops owl is slightly smaller. So this is, I think, um, the smallest owl that we have in, in Africa, in Southern Africa. That is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Well, look at that. We said we're going to try find an owl. Mary, you... There we go, Mary and Chantal in the final control. You say this is so cute. Mary, it is indeed. Look how beautiful that little owl is. And they're so well camouflaged. Um, often during the day, they'll hide in trees and you don't see them very well. Um, or at all. You can see those little tufts, little feathers on the head. Look like ears. They do have little tufts that they stick up from time to time. <laughs> Safari wild man, you say he's calling at me and I should respond. I don't think so. I'm scared I scare him off. But I can't tell you how happy I am and excited I am that we managed to find this little scops owl for you. The first time I've seen a scops owl on Safari Live. I'm Monique in London. You say this is your favorite owl. Well, that is wonderful. So glad we got to show you one. So, Paula, that owl is about the size of my hand. Um, so to give you an idea, if we zoom out quickly, I'll just show you. So, if you just look at the size of my hand there, Paula, that's about the size of the, to give you an idea, just smaller than my hand. That's how big that owl is. So not very big at all. This is so wonderful. Oh, it is beautiful. These beautiful orange eyes. And he's posing perfectly for us. Look how that beak is almost hidden um, with the feathers around it. Now these little owls will catch um, possibly chameleons and little rodents. Can hear another one calling in the distance, quite far away. Zena, uh, Zena, Zena. Uh, sorry, I don't know. I couldn't hear that properly. Um, you say you just added this bird to your list. That's good. I'm not. I wonder actually how many scops owls have been seen on Safari Live. Um, I'm trying to think, but. I don't think there have been uh, been many. So what a great way to finish the show with this little scops owl. We've seen a lot this afternoon. And zebra and we've seen a lot of antelope species. Wonderful elephant. And we've seen, um, obviously, Taylor found the lion. So it paid off for her in the end. Um, so I hope you've all enjoyed it with us. Don't forget tomorrow morning again. Oh, of course, sorry, James in the Mara. <laughs> we had um, we had a lot of exciting stuff with James, all the hippo and the crocodiles and the lions in the distance. There's always a lot going on. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful afternoon for us. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, I think we need to thank, of course, the ladies in the final control, always for the voices in my head, that I like to call them. Um, but um, and then of course Taylor and James and the Mara and Batman who was with Taylor Seb with me thank you Seb thank you. Um, and we're going to be finishing soon I think we can finish off with the owl at least which is nice and uh, I hope you've all enjoyed the drive with us we'll see you in the morning for our sunrise safari 
so don't forget uh, bright and early tomorrow morning I'm not sure we're going to um, play rock paper scissors to see who goes out in the morning and good night and goodbye everybody we'll see you all soon on safari live